Hi guys, it is Carrie from Gluten Free Jersey Girl, and I'm here today with a Bible study and coffee. Today's coffee is a organic Peruvian coffee. It tastes really good. I only put um, just unsweetened almond milk and a little cinnamon. That's it. And it tastes delicious. So, I am really excited about this Bible study. It's a little bit more um, in depth, kind of like James. James, we did in parts, so this we'll do in parts as well. Um, this particular one, I wanted to do David, but um, I have to start with Samuel. That's what it seems like when I did research online and tried to get some ideas on how to do it. So, um, it's going to be a little difficult to read everything so I thought that you could read along with me and I will leave below the um, Bible verses so you can read them yourself because it's like I said it's too much to read but we're starting with 1 Samuel and this starts with um, there was a man and I wrote some notes because it's like really complicated but um, Let's get, go to my notes. Okay, so there is a man named Alkana. I'm going to just say, hopefully I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. And he had two wives, Panina and Hannah, which is a little strange, that, but I guess that's how they did things that, back then. Panina had one child. Hannah had no children, and she wanted children desperately. And if you think about times in your life when you wanted something so badly, for me, I, I could say it was a child. I didn't have my son until I was 39. So I waited a long time. And, you know, it, it's very difficult because, you know, you see everyone else getting married and having kids and you want children. And, um, and it's painful. It's definitely painful. So she was heartbroken. And on top of it, she was watching his other wife had a child. So it made her feel even worse. And so she begged the Lord. She asked the Lord for a child. And she prayed and she promised him that if she had a child, she would give him, give the child to the Lord. And he did. He blessed her with a child. And she did just that. She gave him up. Um, she gave him to Eli, who was the priest, and he ministered there with the priest. And, um, and he grew up there in the presence of the Lord. And so, um, I'll read this one to you. 1 Samuel um, 1, 27, 28. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. So now I will give him to the Lord. For his whole life he will be given over to the Lord. Now, I mean, if you think about the love she must have had for God and for her child, to be able to hand him over to God, to say, okay, you, you gave this to me, and now I'm going to do what I promised you. And if you think about times in our lives where, you know, maybe we promised someone something and we didn't follow through, what dedication and commitment and love of God did it take for her to trust so much in the Lord that she was able to give her son to him and hand him over? I mean, as a mom, I can't imagine that to just do that. It just, it takes an enormous commitment and love for the Lord. And I think that the lesson from this is that what we strive for is that I know with my son, you know, when the birth of my son was the greatest gift I've ever been given in my life. And I remember being at the hospital and praying for him and I've prayed for him ever since. I prayed for him before he was born. I prayed, I remember being a kid and sitting by my bed and praying for my future children. I just would do that. Um, and so I know he has a lot of prayer around him and I know that he is blessed by God and I just, I trust in that. I put my faith in God. 100%. I trust in him. I know that he will watch him and he will guide him and he will take care of him for me. And it does take a lot of commitment. It really does because it's hard to say, okay, God, you know, here's my child and now I have to hand him over to you. So 
So I think as parents, we put our trust in God. We have this beautiful, incredible child, such a gift. And we have to trust in God because we can't watch over them every second. But God can. And so we put our children in God's hands and then we trust that he will take care of them. And yes, they will have their own challenges and they will have their own struggles. And it's our hope that we teach them enough about God to help guide them and help them from the wisdom that we've learned from our parents. And so, you know, I look at Hannah as just an incredible, incredible person who had this love for God. And he blessed her after this son, after Samuel, he blessed her with three boys, I believe, and two girls. So she got all these children and was able to enjoy being a mom. And there really is no greater joy in life. And so she wrote this beautiful prayer. Um, I'll read you a little bit of it. My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord, my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. And, I mean, the lesson that we can get from the beginning of Samuel is there is no rock like our God. There is nothing like putting everything in God's hands and walking through life with him by your side. There really is nothing greater. And um, so that's where we'll leave it today. If you want to follow me, it is, you start at 1 Samuel, and you read all the way into, up until 3. So you're going to read 1 and 2. So Samuel, all of 1 and all of 2. And then next time we'll start on Samuel 3, which is really interesting because the Lord calls Samuel. And that's a great, um, that's really interesting. And then it continues until we get into David. And that's my goal is to really study David. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so that is my Bible lesson for today. I hope you study with me and leave um, questions or information if you have some great tips on studying Samuel and David, please let me know or if you um, just want to talk about it. Just leave it down below and definitely like, subscribe, and thank you for following me on this journey. Um, it sort of was something I started unexpectedly and I'm really enjoying it and I love studying the Bible so I'd love to hear from you and that's it. So thank you for watching. Make sure to have some coffee and do your Bible study. Take care and may God bless you on your journey. Thanks for watching.